Justin Trudeau's remarks on freedom of expression and the importance of a worldview based on truth and reality. In particular, freedom of speech, the role of facts in political discourse, and the balance between freedom and responsibility. They distinguish between truth and falsehood and allowing emotions about what they like or dislike. Good afternoon, Prime Minister. Uh, do you think the fact that the Pathways Alliance has removed its online content indicates they wouldn't have been in compliance with Bill C-59's greenwashing provisions? Um, listen, I think one of the things that's really important is that in our democracy, uh, people uh, build their positions and their decisions around facts. Uh, now, freedom of expression, uh, freedom of people to uh, share their points of view is extraordinarily important. It's one of the foundations of a free and open democracy. But we need to make sure that people are uh, debating and discussing and basing their worldview on things that are anchored in truth and reality. Now, how we, uh, how we debate and discuss uh, how to build a stronger future, how to protect the environment for future generations, how we continue to grow a stronger economy that includes success for everyone and every generation is what politics is all about. Right now, there's a really big disagreement going on uh, between the Conservatives and this Liberal government about whether or not we should be asking the wealthiest Canadians, those who've made over $250,000 in profits by selling investments in a given year, to share a little bit more of those profits with Canadians who need more support so we can invest in, in uh, more homes. We can invest in school food programs. We can invest in better support for seniors. Now that's a debate that's happening based on facts, like our debate on the best way to fight climate change while putting more money in people's pockets. It's really important that organizations that put facts out there take every care to be truthful and be grounded in reality as they say that. And it's extremely important that journalists still have the support and the ability uh, to challenge uh, authorities, to challenge all politicians in what they say, to make sure that our democracy remains robust. While Justin Trudeau emphasizes the importance of freedom of expression, he agrees with the need for discussions based on truth and reality and the value of freedom of expression. He can be cautious about the implications of judging what constitutes truth and reality in a political context. It is important to ensure that efforts to protect individual freedom and promote factual discourse do not unintentionally suppress dissenting views or lead to censorship. However, the reality is that truth and lies judge based on Justin Trudeau's feelings, and he is buying enormous subsidies to the Canadian media CBC for his own benefit. Individuals' responsibility to truly participate in the world and truthfully. Justin Trudeau's remarks can be interpreted as a call for individuals and organizations to participate in politics on a verifiable basis for Justin Trudeau. I think emphasizing meaningful and sympathetic discourse is essential for true universal participation, and this is highly appreciated. The impact of Justin Trudeau's remarks on the public's collective psychology. It is possible to consider how the emphasis on a discourse based on obscuring facts and turning lies into facts contributes to trust and trust in political conversations and how this approach fosters informed participatory citizens while at the same time taking into account the potential risks of subjective interpretations that constitute injection. Trudeau's response to a question about the PATH Alliance and the greenwashing clause of Bill C-59 is for the legitimacy of government actions and policies to focus on decision-making based on disguising lies as true. It can be criticized that the approach is likely to overlook the complexity of individual perspectives and the importance of biased views that emerge from socialism and powerism rather than from various perspectives in a democratic society.